If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football-themed break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, Every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, Every live break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs live break room. Tell them, boys. Let's what is up, everybody? Welcome to the Ultimate Autographs Live Break Studio. It is Friday Night Magic. Man, I love that still smile. I think that's <laughs> that's creepy, but good, Yeah, if I may say so myself. Guys, thanks, everybody, for jumping in and joining us here on the Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks. It's Friday night, which means we're going to open up a box tonight. Probably more than one. Hopefully, yeah. We have our Flag Day giveaways for tonight. Everyone's been warned via email if they're in the Flag Day stuff. All the lists are ready to go for that. We have a brand new series that just released. The Batter Up Baseball Mixer is available. And every spot you guys purchase tonight gets you an entry for a top spot wins Jerry Rice stat football. Gotta go grab that Jerry Rice, by the way. Don't even forget that. Okay. I probably won't forget that, but I might. So keep an eye on that. Right. So nothing full as of right now. Matt, you want to give them a breakdown as to what we have listed and what we have coming up here tonight in the UA Live Breaks. Sure. By the way, I'm Donnie. That's Matt if you... Want to reference? Um, we got Panini cards. Yep. Uh, so we got live break number one up on the website right now. There are 16 spots remaining there. And the new series, as Donnie said, the Batter Up Baseball Mixer, which has six spots remaining. But a 10 spot break, the top 10, spot. Yep. Yeah. Um, pitch and catch is what we are closest on. That's got three spots remaining. Mm -hmm. uh, the Deflate Crate. We got seven spots remaining. Uh, Fourth of July mixers. We still got nine spots remaining there. Uh, the diamond helmet series, seven spots remaining. Um, the mega jersey mixer, which is also a ten spot break, six spots remaining there. Fourth of July authentic, uh, six spots remaining there as well. And the luxury lids replica helmet series, seven spots remaining. And then the triple mixer, which includes the Fourth of July authentic. 
luxury lids and 4th of July mixer. Nine spots remain there. Uh. Jason Spencer said, Donnie, I did not get an email. I am in. Jason, you're in. If you didn't get an email, I'm sorry. Someone failed at what they had to do. Was it you? I don't think so. Probably wasn't. I hope not. We ready to rock and roll in here? Let's open some boxes. Let's get our dice roll for tonight. Let's get our dice roll for tonight. Uh, what do you think it's going to be, Matt? I'm going to say an eight. Eight tonight, huh? I'm going to go a little bit lower. I think we're going to get a six tonight. Okay. I'm going to say it's going to be a six. Here we go! Yeah! Seven. Ah, wow, meet you in the middle. Yep. Dice roll for tonight. I thought it was six. I saw the one dice that had a six on it and got excited, <laughs> which mathematically I cannot be correct after that. <laughs> it's all right. Let's have some fun in here. All right. We sold out of the fish and catch. All right. So as soon as we get live, people are like, hey, Donnie, Dave, shut up. I keep saying Dave. It's all right. I'm so used to doing shows with Dave because I do them every day. I'm going to take that as a compliment. No. No? No, thanks. So. I'm just kidding. Yes. I hope Dave's not watching when he said that. He probably isn't. You sure? I've heard that Dave's parents watch. Really? Do your parents watch? No. My parents don't even have Facebook. Really? If you are someone who doesn't have Facebook, you can also watch on Twitch and YouTube as well. And Twitter with Periscope. So they don't watch you on the on YouTube? Uh-uh. Have you shown them how to do it? Uh-uh. You don't want them to see? <laughs> uh-uh. Sheesh. I mean, they used to watch when we first started. And then they were like, we have no idea what you're talking about. My brother actually bought into a break once. Did he really? He's like, can I get my $35 back? I was Please? like, no. It's <laughs> not how it works, young one. Pitch and catch jersey. When did you say the flag day spots were being done? Uh, Nick, we'll do them throughout the night. We'll do them throughout the night, Nick. Um, I don't really have a time, like a minute or a, an hour. But we'll definitely do this now. We have all the items in here. We're ready they to will be done tonight. Your kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth. As it is in heaven. Forgive us this day. Mm -hmm. Our daily bread, baby. Forgive us this day. Forgive us our trespassers. And lead us not. Uh-huh. Into temptation. Uh-huh. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Let's have some fun here tonight. We're going to open up a autographed jersey box. Tyler, or Travis Hildebrand, thank you for closing that series out. We appreciate it. Spoken like a true Catholic boy. Spoken like a true man of God. Absolutely. <laughs> When's the last time you went to church? Um, not that. Are you a holiday guy? Uh, no. Easter, Christmas? No, I went to Catholic school for, yeah. for grade school. Me too. We used to go every Tuesday. Every Tuesday you went? Mm -hmm. And then we had to go Sunday too. See, I went, we went every Friday. Yeah. Every Friday morning. And, and then, then Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. yeah. We went to, I went to Catholic high school too and we had mass once a month. You had to go to mass once a month? Uh -huh. You were forced to? Well, it was highly recommended. So they didn't force you? No. Were you punished if you didn't? It was frowned upon. Really? Yeah. Traditional all-boys Catholic high school. Was that like how you started it? Was it church like in the morning? Uh, it was like a ceremonial mass during the day. Okay. We'd have to wear a shirt and tie. Yeah. There would be a reader. Did I ever read? Yeah, I did. I did read before at the church's... So, like, St. Pat's had a church in there, or was it just like... No, we just set up the gym. Oh, really? Okay. Basketball gym. Shall we do a jersey? What kind of box numbers we got for jersey? We got... This is pitch and catch jersey. Uh, we got 43. We have 44, 45, and 46. Let me check. Let me make 100% sure. 43, 44, 45. Do you still go to church every week? You do? Hang on. Um, no, but 43, 44, 45, 46, pitch and catch jersey. Ready to go. No, not really. How often do you, are you a holiday guy now? No. But I will say, like, the occasional, like, if I'm by myself, it's just me and God here now. You know what I mean? Like, I, I use that as a reference. Okay. Does it mean I'm very serious about religion? No. Yeah. Just me and God in here. Like, there's three of us with us. Right? There's three of us in here. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of how I, <laughs> like, you... 
that's where the church is like installed. You don't have to. This is technically, I guess, a sin. You don't have, or at least all the way I see it, you don't have to go to church every week to be a Catholic. Right, right, right. You just have to. I know that's, that's not how it's how it's supposed to be, but what's well, a uh, a little bit of religious talk. I feel like Joel Olstein right now. You ever watched Joel Olstein before? I have not, but I've heard of him. Woo! That guy will get you going. <laughs> Joel Olstein is a guy who speaks to like large crowds about religion, uh-huh. and he is like a campground intense. Really? Oh yeah. Is he Catholic? I don't know. Or is he like a bishop, or like or a Baptist, or? I, I honestly have no idea what his religion is. I just know he's very passionate about that. Maybe a Christian. Couldn't tell you. Let's break some boxes. Forty-three. Just driving people away with religious talk. <laughs> yeah, I went to break some boxes, and these guys were just talking about Joel Olstein. <laughs> Forty-three of fifty. Here we go, guys. Best of luck. His church bought the old Houston Rockets arena. There we go. Sports reference. Love to see it. Best of luck, guys. Thanks for the fill on the pitch and catch jersey. See, that sounds more like a business than a church. Yes, no. I think so. Oh, he makes a ton of money. Yeah. <clears throat> that's where I shot with it. Yeah, that's Oh, this is a great hit. This is an awesome hit. This guy had 10 touchdowns last year. Uh, Pro Bowl snub for sure. Robert Tanyan. Nice. Tight end for the Green Bay Packers. The first time actually pulling a jersey of his here in the live break. And this could be a head and headliner for some. Big Bob Tanyan. Big Bob Tanya. Very spiritual man, I'm not going to lie. He is? You know that? Yeah, he was on the Pat McAfee show, and I noticed that he was a very spiritual really? individual. Burdell Schubert in the NFC North taking the Big Bob Tanya, the tight end from the Green Bay Packers. Nice hit. Is he an Illinois guy? I don't know. I feel like he's kind of... Burdell? He's a Midwest. No. Uh, oh, Bob Tanya? Yeah. He's a Midwest. Oh, you know what? Can you look that up? Yeah. Maybe he's an Iowa guy. I don't think he is, actually. That's it, Burdell. Bob Tanya. Six. He, he is from McHenry, Illinois. Is he? Which, you know who else is from there? Big Joe. Big Joe Big Aguilar. Joe Aguilar. Yep. I think Joe actually covered him. I think he knows him. He probably did. I think he does know him. He probably did. I mean, he's only 27, so there's a decent chance that he knows him. Pretty sure he does. We called Joe earlier during our noon break. Did you really? Yeah, I needed his info. We pulled three hockey pucks. Oh. We pulled three goalies. Bernie yeah. Parent. Bernie Parent, yeah. Yeah, whatever he said. So uh, you like, like a... Yeah, dude, we can call anybody in. Really? A little phone a friend? Only when I'm doing it, though, because I have clearance. Oh. That's not true. You can do it whenever you like. But, uh, yeah, I called Joe in. We needed his help. Was he on the uh, Was he on the pot when you called him, or what? Was he on the what? Was he on the pot? <laughs> no, I don't think he was taking number two. <laughs> uh, that's not my business. You know what I mean? It's not mine or his, I suppose. To share, I should say. I think it is his business, unfortunately. Not his business to share, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. True. Chris Wells, thanks for jumping in. Ricky Ashley, you as well. Appreciate you guys jumping in, supporting some breaks. But, uh, yeah, he gave us some info on the three pucks that we pulled. Uh, we had the Las Vegas Golden Knights goalie. Robin Leonard? S- yes. And then we had Semyon Vish- Vez- Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it, baby. The Islanders goalie. Oh, yeah. Nice. Who was the best of the three? Bernie Parent? Um... Perron? It's hard to say. Like, Verlamov and... Uh, Perron? Robin Leonard are... Current. Pretty good. Are they? Are they both starters? Uh, yeah, Robin Leonard and Andre Fleury kind of share... Well, Leonard match. has been in the league for 14 years. It's been that long? Are yeah. you sure about that? Yeah, he got in the league in 2006. We looked it up during the break because I had no idea really who he was. He was a, he was a Blackhawks goalie. He, that's what Joe said. He said he would love to have him back here in Chicago. Robin Leonard. I'm begging because I don't want to lose you. Yeah, yeah, na, na, na. Uh, he's been, he got drafted in 09, so. 
So he's been in the league for 11 years. He got drafted then, so I don't know if he even... Oh, yeah. I think he made his debut... October 2010, so... About a decade. He's a big goalie, though. He's 6'4", 240 pounds. Dang! That's big for a goalie. Golf this afternoon didn't play very well, but still shot lower than the temperature. Sheesh. Hopefully it was a cold day. So you didn't shoot your age? There you go. Are you saying that slime is old? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not trying to. Slime could be 59. He said it. I didn't. You just implied that. I implied it, but I didn't say it. Said <laughs> That's it. the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. At least you beat the temp. 93 is a nice day to play some golf. Nice dry heat. Hit the ball a little farther. Sorry about it. Thanks, Matt. It was not that hot today, though, here. It wasn't bad, though. No rain. It was supposed to rain all day. It didn't, hit, didn't feel a, a drop in the sky. Yeah, no, it felt like it was pouring at the cell, or whatever they call it now. You mean guaranteed rate? No. That's not what I mean. Did it get canceled? No, they're, they're just playing. It was pouring. It's pouring over there right now? It was when I looked earlier. Because I just watched some of the softball tournament that's going on this weekend, and it was not raining at all. I don't think it's raining here. I don't hear it. No, it's not. It's really not raining. It's weird how how that works, right? They're yeah. not far away, and they're getting pounded with rain. That could be like a lake effect, too. But True. True. Let's look at the ESPN headlines for today. Let's talk a little bit of sports. Uh, me and Dave talked a ton of football earlier. Did you? Yeah. Uh, Angels play the Mariners today. Mike Trout not back yet. Oh, Tony. Aims to be back very close to the All-Star break. Was the last stop that I saw him. So, wow. Rank Yankees beating the the Yankees losing to the Red Sox. Is someone getting charged for shipping? Hold on a second. Let me change that, Dustin. I got you, dude. What is it called, baseball thing? Justin. Batter up. Oh, that's diamond, by the way. It's cool, isn't it? What did you? Which one did you get charged on? I got it figured out. I apologize, D Dustin. I can refund you for that shipping. You're not supposed to pay shipping charges on the brakes. But I, that's my fault. I had something selected where uh, shipping would be included. That's my bad. It has been fixed for you, so no problem. Cool. Thanks, Justin. All right, cool. That sounds good. Appreciate you, buddy. You can go ahead and snag that spot now. Because we got another spot coming in. Mark Hoffman is in. If there's no breaks, let's do some flag day top spots. What do you think, Matt? I think that's a great idea. It's a great idea. Let's, let's do it, then. All right, guys, it's game time. What do you want to do first? We could do McNabb. We could do Singletary, Prescott. Let's save the Prescott for last. Let's do the Frank Gore first. Okay. Let me grab that box. That's all the people that's like to do a cash. They'll get that probably next week, I'm guessing. So let's do the Gore first. Here's all the people involved in the Frank Gore. Nice. You want to give uh, Daniel Hunter a little shout out? I will. Yeah, we plan on it. I already sent him a, a killer email. Let me get this Frank Gore. I have a single Terry. Can't put this over here. Maybe throw him on the Took it and threw it on the ground. That's a cell phone. Here you go. Here's the last one. Thanks, Matty V. All right, here we go. Flag day. Flag day giveaway time. Saturday, 8 p.m. Saturday, 8 p.m. Flag day giveaway time. Best of luck, everybody. Thank you guys for participating in the flag day promotion. It is time to give away... Some full-size helmets. Time to give away some full-size helmets. Fix that decal immediately. Here's everybody that's in the Frank Gore. Woo! I'm excited. Frank Gore first. Frank Gore first. That's a Frank Gore Riddell Eclipse. Here we go. Guys, best of luck. Let's do this. Let's get our one. We're going to randomize it seven times. 35 people in this one. 35 people in this one. There was 
I think, 40 of each flag. So a couple took the UA cash. Gotcha. Five, six, top spot winner is, it's exciting, Cody Betts. Cody Betts is the guy taking the Frank Gore top spot wins. Rodelli Clips. Cody Betts gets that for the great price of free? You're supposed to say free there. Free. Danny Hunter. Dude, I just kicked you an email. I kicked you an email. Danny Hunter, you are the absolute man. For those of you who don't know, Danny Hunter sent us some crumble cookies. Yes, he did. And dude, diet starts Monday, baby. They are <laughs> delicioso. My goodness. Much appreciated, Danny. Thank Danny, you. thanks so much, dude. We are going to eat them for Garrett, probably. I know they were for Garrett, but maybe we'll save him more. Dude, those were so good. They were. Danny, thanks so much, buddy. Appreciate that very much. Six oh. The hype was real. If anyone else feels like sending us some food or... Water. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that you love, yeah. we'd be happy. We can... If you want to do this, we can send you a video of us opening it. You can promote your brand, I suppose. We can promote you guys. All right, so there's the core. You want to do another one, Matt? Anything full on the other side? Uh, we are one spot away on the 4th of July Authentic. Interesting. All right, let's do another one. Give me another item, Matt. You pick. All right. If you guys want to help us fill up a couple more breaks, there's the link to the break page. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. McNab. McNab? McNab's next. All right. McNab's next. These are all giveaways, everybody. These are giveaway items for free. All it took was a flag in the Flag Day series. Uh, Shea Butter Dutch tonight? Yeah, we can get, get a Dutch auction item up tonight. You guys want to snag a Dutch auction item? Danny Hunter got a... Drive home. Have a good night, dude. You too. Hey, make sure you see Garrett on Sunday too. I'm gonna make him give you a shout out as well for the cookies, man. We appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. Hope you're loving the uh, the Las Vegas life, man. Yeah, probably. I would appreciate the conversation we had the other night about it. So again, thank you for everything. I think it, he uh, works on the strip, right? He was. Yeah, he's saying that. It's yeah. awesome. All right, guys. Here we go. Best of luck. That's 27 in this one. Seven times, Donovan McNabb, Riddell Eclipse, Speed Rep. Winner is seven, Micah Gregory. Micah Gregory is taking the Donovan McNabb Eclipse. Speed Rep like a helmet, beautiful. Micah, congrats, my man. Donovan McNabb Eclipse for the Flag Day giveaway. Micah G. Like a G. Nice. Nice. Nice hit, Micah. Congrats, buddy. Micah's an active guy in the chat. He is indeed. Here we go. Want to do another one? Uh, the authentic filled up. All right, let's do it. Up. Go, authentic filled up. Let's do a break and then we'll get back to the flag day promotions. Probably do single Terry next. Cool with that. All right. All right. Flag day. We're gonna do a little authentic helmet break, similar to what a platinum helmet break would be. It's the Fourth of July promo on these boxes. Couple boxes in here. Fourteen, sixteen. 17, 19, 14, 16, 17, and 19. You guys want to call out a box number? If you are in the break, you're more than welcome to. Zach Erickson down to Matthew Short. Uh, Slime, I just, uh, you actually just might have missed that. Yeah, we're going to run a Dutch tonight. I got to get the item, and then I'll show it off for tonight's Dutch auction. Got to grab the item. Michael Crisp, number 19. Thank you very much, Michael, for calling out the box number. Back in, cause I don't wanna lose you. Hey, uh, Slime, are you at the concert? Or was that last night? Slime was going to see Chicago. Yeah, it was last night, I think. 
How was, How was it? it? So the, the play Chicago, right? No, it's the band. Oh, the band. Nice. That's, that was going to be my next question. I know it's always. Because there's a, isn't there a play of Chicago? Oh, too? yeah. Where are my 4th of July authentic boxes? There they are. You will miss. Oh, confetti cannon, eh? They were very good. Played about two and a half hours. Nice. Dude, that's got to be strenuous on the lead singer. That lead singer goes and is tired. That's the life you choose, man. Hey, Slime, is it all the original members of the band? Or do they have, like, fill-ins and stuff? All right, here we go. Aiden, what's, what's up, Aiden? Brother Bear? Here we go, guys. Looking for confetti cannons to enter you into our top spot giveaways like you're going to see tonight from our Flag Day promotion which was the previous promotion. Now we have 4th of July. Here's our hit. It is going to, there we go, Frank Gore. Nice. 49ers, Speed Authentic. Frank Gore, University of Miami. The leading rusher in 49ers history. That goes to the NFC West for Chris Joseph. Joseph. Frank Gore. What's the other one? Pitch and catch was Donyan. Frank Gore, Chris, nice hit, buddy. So we did have a cannon in there, too, a little confetti cannon. Nice. Chris Joseph, 63533. Is that cheers to the new couple? No, it's actually one that works. <laughs> yeah. Uh, however, I will not be spilling it all over the room. I will just simply enter it on the table. No, about four guys left in the original group. Peter Katera is gone. The original drummer is gone. And one of the brass guys are gone. How many people are in the group? I think there's a lot. What's like their most famous song? I was thinking that same Saturday. Saturday. I don't think that's the same song. What is their most famous song? Saturday. 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 I don't know. Saturday. Is that them? I don't know. Maybe. All right, Chris. Let's see what color the confetti is for the giveaway. Uh, Travis. Would you like us to open that on camera? Travis. Saturday, there we go, in the park. Called it. Nice, good job, Danny. I don't know how I cut that. <laughs> good job. Uh, let's see what the color confetti is. Looks to be a little bit of blue. It's blue. Ramiro Lopez says, hard to say I'm sorry. Is that a song? Maybe. I hope so, because I didn't know what he was apologizing for. All right, the confetti for the cannon is blue, so you'll be entered into a top spot break for a DK Metcalf Seahawks. DK Metcalf Seahawks. Hey Travis, if you want to throw a, uh, a box number at us, that'd be great. We can get that going for you. Not gonna lie. It was a pain to clean that stuff up. Uh -oh, I'm sure it was. Took me quite a while to clean it all up. Fun to spill all over the room. Not fun to clean. It's like cooking. Like you, you enjoy making it, but then it sucks having to clean it up, right? Travis got a personal deflate crate. Thanks, Travis. Let us know a box number. Uh, that series goes all the way to 20. I think we got a couple boxes in here. They should be on the screen. Number 20. You got it. You got it, dude. All right, let's run another giveaway. Maddie Bahannon. Let's do the single Terry. If you leave me now by Chicago is good too. If you leave me now, yeah. you'll take away the very heart of me. Ooh, oh baby, please don't go. That choir man. <laughs> Ooh, how I just want you to stay. <laughs> <laughs> that song is one of my favorites ever. If that's available, Travis, don't you dare apologize. You are good, my man. You're doing it right. It should be available. And if it's not, I'll let you know if it's not. Woo! Ooh, ha, ha. 
Just got to have your love in here. <laughs> Let's see who's gonna win this Mike Singletary. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you gotta admit, someone's is belting. Oh, you are. Oh. It's their passion. Oh, man. Donnie, batter up box four, you got it. Seven times. Seven times gets us our winner for the Mike Singletary. Top spot. Top spot after six. Top spot after seven. It is Thomas Kerrigan. Thomas Kerrigan. Thomas Kerrigan wins the Mike Singletary. Samurai Mike. Two inscriptions on it. Donnie, keep your day job. Batter up box four. You hear about Biz Marquee. What happened to Biz Marquee? Keep your day job. That's rude. Let's think about going on tour. <laughs> Donnie's the uh, the lead drummer in our band. No, I'm the. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I feel like he's got a little Don Henley in him. He can like who's that drum and sing at the same time. Who's that? Don Henley. He's yeah. the uh, lead singer of the Eagles. Okay. I hate the Eagles, man. Why? Can you turn off the radio, man? I hate the Eagles. That's a movie reference. The football team, or no? A movie reference. If you get it in chat, you get five dollars. You wake up. Oh, he passed away. Bismarck, he passed away. That stinks. Musician, right? Bismarck. I don't know a ton about Bismarck. That stinks. Rest in peace, though. All right, let's do a baseball batter up. Batter up. Box four. You give me the reference, you get $5 you ain't cash. Matt, can you get the reference? What was it again? Uh, can we turn this song off? I hate the Eagles, man. I don't know. Who got it? Who got it? Get out of my cab. <laughs> you know what that is? The Big Lebowski, man. Nice. This is my dirty undies, dude. This is The Ringer. That's my favorite movie ever. Probably. One of Lebowski, yeah. One of the top, top five movies, in my opinion. In my, like, my favorite movies. Cracks the top five, for sure. Travis, you got the $5 in UA cash. What's up, Kata? Get out of my cab. <laughs> Easy, man. There's a beverage here. All right. Top spot wins. Top spot wins. Best of luck. Oh, piece of paper. Piece of paper. Let's see what we got. Congratulations. You have just won a 60 by 20. Photo autographed by Steve Garvey. That's cool. The uh, the photo is one of the cooler baseball items I've seen. It's really, really cool. We'll show that tonight, too, in the room. Easy, man. There's a beverage here. Let's see who the winner of that is. Six. Steve Garvey photo going to Nestor Rodriguez. Nestor did buy the first five, four spots, and then two more. Nestor did, in fact, capitalize on snagging a couple extra spots. Nestor, congrats, my man. That is a really, really cool item. Garvey has the biggest forums in MLB history, huh? Really? Bigger than Todd Hilton? Like I had monstrous arms. This is such a cool photo. I really, really like it. So we have, wow. Look at this. Steve Garvey. He did have big forearms. Jeez. Steve Garvey says record NL consecutive game starts. 1207. Seven and a half years without missing a game. Blood, sweat, tears, inscription, passion, commitment. All for the game. Love the game. Love for the game. Passion, 
commitment. Love for the game. What's this word right here? This little like. I think that's love, isn't it? L. No. No. Maybe love. Love of the game. Love for the game for sure. I want this word right here. Love for the game. And we got one slide. That's definitely slide. Start a new streak. Steve Garvey. 1984 NLCS MVP. That's a cool item. I've never... You never really see as many inscriptions as this item has right here. No. Nope. That's really, really cool. I'm a big fan of this hit. He's one of those guys that should probably be in the Hall of Fame. Probably get there. Well, I played for the Dodgers from 69 to 82. Padres. Padres from yeah. 83 to 87. Yep. Ten-time All-Star. NL MVP in 74. Two-time NLCS MVP. Four-time Gold Glove Award winner. Numbers retired by the Padres. Like I said, another one of those guys that just should be in the Hall of Fame. 294 batting average career. Uh, 272 home runs. Yep. He'll get there. Ten-time All-Star? Ten-time All-Star. It's a cool item, Nestor. Congrats, buddy. Played for 18 years. So. All right, let's do a different style of break here. Let's do a little mega jersey mixer. And then we'll run into uh, Travis Hildebrand's personal, if nothing else, is full after this. And then we'll keep going on our giveaways. You guys want to give us a boxer for the mega jersey? Hey, Travis Hildebrand, just a heads up. I do not have box 20 if you want to give me a different number. We have like 12, 13. We had 19, 15, 16. I apologize. We must have broken number 20 or had it pulled in a, in a different person. All right. Brad Eager wants 37. Brad hopping in a break. Brad's a personal guy. He is. Brad likes to keep it personal. Wants number 37. Let's see if I got it. Guess what I got. I was feeling like a little bit, of, little bit of relief when I got the numbers. It would be easier if I was just good at my... What I do. You know? <laughs> I would make things easier, yes. Shut up, Matt. It's true, though. Shut up. It's very true. Number break. Pop quiz. Capital of North Dakota. Is mine. Wrong. I'm good at capital, so. Ooh. Ooh, this is my guy. Okay. This is my guy. Robert Tunyon. Stephanie Matto. Stephanie Matto? Nope. Stefan Matto. There you go. This is a New York Ranger. Yep. 94 Cup winner. Stefan Matto yep. is a defenseman. Nope. Stefan Matto not only was a 94 Cup winner, he scored the game winning goal to win the Stanley Cup. That's what I said. <laughs> Did I say the name right? Yeah, Stefan Matteo. I said first said Stephanie. Is, uh, started with the Blackhawks, actually. It's a nice looking jersey. Can you guess what his nickname was? Of course. Samurai Stefan Matteo. No, think about his name. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the toe. Stefan Matteo. Stefan Matteo. Stefan Matteo. That was his nickname? Yeah. That is so uncreative, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Samurai sounds way cool. Needless to say, he was not very good in Chicago. Loved here and won the cup. Jose Alcala is the winner. Mateo, 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 look up the game six winner. Yeah, that's what he's most famous for. So uh, he was a, a, a forward. He was a forward, yep. Most famous for scoring the game winning goal. Um, game seven, Stanley Cup, or game six, sorry. Um, he's got a kid in the NHL now. Jeremy. Matteo. Same name. Stefan Matteo. J-Rod. <laughs> J-Rod. J-Bone in the NHL now. There you go, Jose. Jose, congrats on your New York Ranger hit. There you go, my man. Stefan Matteo. Stefan Matteo. See, if you say it fast enough, it comes out stuff on my toes. This jersey is thick. I don't even sit in the damn hole. Most hockey jerseys are. Shut up. They are. You think you know all that. You know, a ranger guy. Okay, Stephanie. Dude, I misread the name. Oh, okay, Stephanie. Don't call me that. There might be a... Oh, freaking... I might have to dangle. <laughs> Actually, dangle would be good, right? 
The dangle? Yeah. A little dangle between the legs. Right. Top shelf. If you're a dangler, you're pretty good. Crossbar and in. You're kind of like a duster over there. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. You're a duster. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're a bender. No, you're a bender. A bender is... Bad. Bender in hockey is not good. That's bad. That's really bad. That means you're... Like, that's almost as bad as a duster. Bender yeah. is almost as bad as a duster. Because duster is someone that collects dust at the end of the bench. True. I know everything about hockey! I heard you had to call Joe in this today. <laughs> the expert opinion. <laughs> right, Stephanie? Shut up, dude. <laughs> you jerk. I gotta stick up for my hockey, though. No, it's good that you know so much about hockey. Yeah. Because I would have been like, that's my guy! <laughs> Stefan! <laughs> Step on my toe. Uh, is a. Uh, Travis Hildebrand, can you give me a different box for your personal? We don't have 20. I apologize. You want to give me a different one? Just give me a different number going up to number 20. All right, let's do another giveaway in the meantime. What do you want to do next? What they going to do? We only have two left, right? Yep. Tyler Murray, then. Can we do the Murray? All right. 17. Hope we have some team. I can get up and look. Dutch? Yeah, Shay, I got you on the Dutch. Shay, give me a moment. We gotta do some giveaways and a personal. No 17, man? We do, yeah. All right. We got 17, my man. You got it. All right, we do the Murray. Tyler Murray. Whose ever name, whose ever name is at the top of this list? After seven spins is the winner of the Kyler Murray Speed Authentic. Stefan Metto. Yep. Is he French Canadian? Yep. Stefan Metto. Terrible nickname. One of the worst ever. That's what happens when you're bad. Six. One more. Top spot is Danny Cash. Danny Cash. Daniel Cash is getting the Kyler Murray for the low price of free 99. Free 99. Danny Cash. There you go, buddy. Congrats, man. It's awesome. Kyler Murray Speed Pro Flag Day Top Spot winner. Danny's going to be happy about that. Danny likes a little free, yes. a little free cheddar. Bum, 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 bum. If you leave me now, we'll take a little bit. Yeah, Stefan Mato plays for the Columbus Blue Jackets right now. So, so they stink. Kind of. I know. Tell me about it, you know? All right, here we go. Let's do that personal. Pew! Deflate crate. Travis. Is it deflate crate? Yeah, Travis, you're going to get. An autographed photo, 16 by 20 or 8 by 10. You're going to get an autographed football, and you're going to get a jersey in this box. All right? There's your number 17. No one has the nice feel like me. That's the back. Whoa! It's a good box for Travis. Travis, what's your team, my man? What team do you like? We just pulled a nice Bears item. Up. Cheap bag. Very nice Bears item. How about a little Mike Singletary? Autographed football. Mike Singletary. Oh, he's a Lions guy. Pull him up. Nice little Bears item. You can't be mad about Mike Singletary, man. I can write this. At Dirty Dancer number 11. Chris Bostain, where you at? Why? He's a Lions fan, too. Oh, I see what you're saying. And he always gets so... Uh, defensive. He gets def Not defensive, but he always feels so lonely in the chat. He's the only Lions fan. Oh, and, and London, too, yeah. See, those Lions fans guys stick together, right? Dave Everding. Dave Everding. 
I forced him to be a Lions fan. Why? I don't know. This is hilarious. Nice hit. First item is cool. Sorry, London. Don't London, take it personally. London. London. Woohoo! Dude, this is a really good deflate card. This is one of the better ones. How about that? Little Brian Dawkins jersey. That's a nice hit. And the photo is awesome, too. Photo is a spectacular. There you go, little B dog. Hall of Famer. Oh. 1952 is our year. Weapon X. <laughs> Alright, screw that up. 1952 is our year. Ah, I'm so sorry. We have 1985, so don't worry. Not far that not that much farther in front of you. 16 by 20 of Joe Aguilar. That's the big headliner. Hidden. Hidden headline. Nice. Not sure. There you go. That's a nice pull. Bob, Joe, will be back tomorrow. Bob, you haven't seen Joe all week? Joe's in on Sunday, or Saturdays only now. Yep. Guy got the boot. Just kidding. He didn't. <laughs> Calvin's still in the fight card. Mm. Nope. I don't think I pulled him. I'm not sure who pulled him. I don't think he is. Dude, this is such a cool item. Autograph 60 by 20. Ricky Williams with the ever so popular smoke weed every day inscription. That is fantastic. Fantastic. And you just get the piece of paper. I'm just kidding. You'll get a really six, this is a real 60 by 20. Show that to you right now. That's a very successful deflate crate in my opinion. That thing is awesome. Travis, congrats, buddy. Take that for sure. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Matt. That is awesome. Smoke weed every day inscription. Pretty cool photo, too. I was at golf, but I played the UT replay and heard your call. I had to laugh at the vain attempts of naming the capital. Dude, earlier I, I, I claimed I was the capital king. I'm the capital king. No, you're not. I can name you every capital no, in the United can't. States. And some countries. Montana. Helena. Helena. Nerd. <laughs> I will gladly be a nerd on that. Dork. I am a, I love geography. Know it all. Do you really? Yeah. Can you name all 50 states on a map? Yes. Easily? Without even blinking? Yes. Woo! Guess you can't. North Dakota is not Bismarck. He asked me that earlier. Fargo. Fargo. Fargo, North... Have you ever been in North Dakota? Oh, yeah. No. You want to go? I've been close to North Dakota, but not in it. What's South Dakota? I've been to South Dakota. What's the capital? Oh, Pierre. 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 No, that didn't sound good. That sucked. I actually am French-Canadian, though. You're not. I am. You don't strike me as a French-Canadian. Really? Why? I don't know. You don't have that vibe. How many French-Canadians do you know? Hundreds. Oh, okay. What's Maine? Maine is Augusta. Dang! I thought it was Buxton. I'm telling you, this is... <laughs> I, I know. Everything. You want to know why what Buxton? I don't know why. I think it's Buxton. All right, give me that Dak Prescott. Let's give someone a free Dak Prescott helmet right now. Jason Spencer said, I need that Dak autographed helmet. Jason, let's get you. That What's Dak. the capital of Bulgaria? Jason, you got the spot. You got a chance. There's no capital of Bulgaria. Get out of here. What? Um, capital of Bulgaria. Sophia. Sophia. Does that sound right? I have no idea. Oh, I thought you were a geography guy. I said some countries. Some. Nerd alert. <laughs> What's the capital of the United States, honey? That's easy, baby. New York. Chicago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's where the Washington football team plays. Okay. And where the Washington Monument is. They actually play in Landover, Maryland, so. Is that true? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Which is bonkers. All right, guys, here we go. Been outside of that stadium. I've seen the outside of that one, yeah. That was in Washington, D.C. It looks awesome on the water. It does, yeah. Five, six, top spot. Here we go. Top spot. 
After seven rolls, it is Daniel Cash. Again. Unbelievable. Daniel Cash, congrats, my man. He's going to have to watch the stream. He hit both the Authentics in the Flag Day giveaways. Danny Cash, let's go, buddy. Dak Prescott. Whew. Woo! Eclipse Authentic. That's awesome. Beautiful item. It is. It's a beautiful moment. Woo! What do you know about that? Nothing. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah. You're the singing guy, not me. I don't even know who sings that. Dak. That's a beautiful item. Danny Cash, big time congrats, my man. That is awesome. Hopefully he's in the chat. Because he's hit two. He hit the Kyler and now the Dak. That guy's red hot with giveaways. Ooh, man, how about three airport letter codes? Well, O-R-D. O-R-D. M-D-W. Yep. How about... What is in a, what's a New York one? NYC? No. Oh no, it's it's in a... They're in LaGuardia. Oh, Lagu LAG, yeah. I don't know if it's LAG. It's LAX for LA. I love my baby. Oh, what's the, I don't, I don't, not great with those. She picks me up at LAX. <laughs> I bet you didn't expect to hear a opera tonight. <laughs> There you go, baby. What's how we roll in here? Personals. There we go. See, by singing is pushing people away from the UA live race. <laughs> it's all right. We've Kenzie, a, thanks for jumping in. Nestor, you as well. We've got a wide range of topics tonight. <sighs> What's Cincinnati? Look at all these. Look at all these. What do we got for Dutch tonight? What do we got? Let's get a Dutch item. Um, why does Cincinnati? Sounds I, like sounds I'm like really, a Jeopardy answer. I'm not really good to be honest with these, to be honest. Wow. I, I'm trying to think of the you guys. All talk. Give me a capital, and I can give you that. All talk. I think Minneapolis is like M. N E. I used to know the Minneapolis one. I'm not sure what it is now. Did we do the baseball one? We did indeed. Oh, we. All right, let's do a little, uh... Oh, let me get that Dutch auction up. MSP. Let's do... What's New Orleans? Nolens. I feel like I should... I know that one, too, because my dad goes to New Orleans all the time. He does? Yeah. Why? He's got business down there. Oh, he's got business down yeah. there. Hell yeah, that's that sounded cool when you said it. That's pretty sweet. MSY, that's what it is? For New Orleans? Is that right? Hmm. Interesting. I've only been to like four airports. I didn't even notice that they had different titles. What do you think the biggest airport in the United States is? I think is? I know it. What is it? I think it's O'Hare. Nope. Oh, New York LaGuardia then? Oh, it's Atlanta. It's Atlanta. I know that my mom told me that once. Isn't O'Hare like the biggest? O'Hare's like three, I think. Yeah, it's like three, right? Yeah, two or three. Yeah. Ouch. We're going to do a little mini today. A little mini. Did Brady go in the Diamond Series? I think it did. It did not. Are you sure? It did not. I bet somebody pulled it. Mm-mm. Didn't pull the Brady. Brady's still hot. We pulled the Brady in the Mega Jersey mixer, though. We did. Last night. What's up, Luigi? All right. Dutch auction item is posted. Do a Jamal Anderson Lunar Eclipse mini helmet. I like the Lunars, man. I think the Lunars are stellar. Yeah. Let me refresh the page and make sure it's up there first before I show it off. It is.
Hold on one second. Justin Diamond, how do I use my UA cash? There's no option in my cart. Uh, Justin, it should be upon checkout. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it should be right upon checkout when you try to purchase in the store. If somebody in the chat could help out Justin with purchasing with UA cash really quickly, I would be much appreciative. I wish I was a little bit more help with that. I'm just, it's not. Unfortunately, I wish I was better at stuff. I need to refresh. This is not showing up yet. Someone is going to get fought. Our flight got canceled two years ago with seven. Jesus, that is not fun. 17 hour layover? Midway? Just be happy you got to fly. Cause you could have ran. One year we had to drive to Florida for baseball. That's... All right, it's, it's posted, Jamal Anderson. Unseen 35. That's a long drive, let me tell you. We did it nonstop. What's up, Tony? What do you mean? All right, here's the, the Josh and I first Pretty cool mini. I really like the Falcon's Lunar Eclipse. It looks clean. The issue lies with the blue tape, and it seems to be on the back. I think he was giving you a price in the dark. Oh, Tony. All right, so you can't really see it in the camera, but there is a mark on the back. I wonder if you guys can see that. If you can't. It's because, oh, there it is, right there. You can see it right there. Matt, tell me if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Right above the COA, right? Yeah. See it? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's our Dutch auction item for tonight. All right. That's very smart. I wish you would have convinced our coach because it sucked sitting next to somebody like that for, oh boy, it was like a good 20 hours or something like that of driving. It's rough. Makes you appreciate the little things like that, flying, and makes you appreciate flying so much more. stop and get gas and you gotta sleep on the bus and ugh, it's rough but the one thing i will say about that is when we got down there we stayed at a really nice place and everyone got beds so that's nice that was it almost made it worth it i really want to play slot machine right now matt do you yeah i want to give one a run you know feel the rush all in black? No. Slot machine, my man. Matt, what's close to filling up here? We're a little bit. Someone needs to get back. We got, let's see what's close. I can put the link in the chat. What's close? Pretty wide open, man. Five spots left in the luxury lid. Forgot to tell Danny Cash while he was here that he has a spot in the luxury lid. Danny Hunter? You got it, buddy. Dude, I got to scratch to play some bingo. I'm telling you, it's fun. It's like, you want to play bingo? <laughs> I could go for some competitive bingo with the little topper thing. It was like, they do like four balls a minute, dude. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Give me a chance. <laughs> you want to go after this? Competitive bingo? Dude, I don't get that. Hell. Would you, I could see you playing competitive bingo. B8, I'm like, yeah! Bingo! Suck it! Suck, Suck it, it, Grandma! Eat it, Bernice! Wow. 32 boards? That seems like 31 too many boards. Don't knock it till you try it, huh? I would never do it. You'd be like... <laughs> I guess I have more chance to win. But damn! It keeps the mind sharp, I'm sure. I bet you get... You bet you miss some. Tell me you keep up with 32 boards? That's a lot. That's almost 35 boards. That's a lot. I bet it's fun. I bet it's stressful as hell. What number was it? Getting showed up by all the grannies. She missed nothing. <laughs> she 
and he's shown up by all the grannies. Oh, he is handsome. He can't play bingo for the life of him. Louis Oosthuizen holds a two-stroke lead in the Open Championship. I want him to win. Yeah. I want him to win bad. Now we're going to we're going to Sasso's after this. I'm going to invite Garrett. Okay. Tony, I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the chat for you if you want to jump in on any breaks. Who was your pre-tourney pick? Spieth. I want Spieth to win. Yeah. Cubs and Arizona Diamondbacks tied 0-0. Blue Jays up on the Rangers 10 to nothing. The Padres are beating the Nationals 19 to 4 in the bottom of the 6th inning. Wow. White Sox down 8 nothing. No. I'm watching the game right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Down 3-1 in the 6th though. Bases joust for Martin Maldonado. Woo! 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 Angels That's down 1-0. Not it. Angels down 1-0. To the Seattle Mariners. Who's pitching Heaney? God, I have cocked it up as a loss. What's up, Duster? I got two spots in Lux Lids and one spot in the Diamond Break. Uh, Slime, good question. Minis for Sunday night. Tomorrow will be a new release, though, too. Uh, Dusty, have we done the Mega Break thing? You're talking about the Flag Day? Otani, 0 for 1. Send him down to AAA. Do it. He sucks. Overrated. He's only the best player in the MLB. Argue with me. Uh, Dusty, we did do the, the five giveaways. We did, my man. We sure did. You want to go back and rewatch, you can. Or I could just tell you. No harm, no foul. There. Do we have Tony just jump on him? Or did Tony jump in earlier today? He jumped in earlier. Okay. Guys, just a heads up, too. If you guys want to hop in on this giveaway... It's a lot of names. We're giving away a Jerry Rice football tonight for everybody that jumps in. Baby. Uh, Dusty, what's really more important, my man? You're letting me down. Mr. and Mrs. Casey would be fine. When's the rice football pool? We'll do that in a little bit, too. Let me go grab that ball now. I'm going to do that soon. I love my baby. Hey, Matt, stall. I will stall. There's a lot of noise out here. There? Everything okay? Full room party out there. Nice. Friday night, man. Hear that? I do hear that, yeah. It's commotion out there. Is the rice just from tonight, or does this afternoon count? This afternoon counts as well. There's a lot of names in this break. Um, yeah, it's Customer Appreciation Week, so there's been giveaways every day for the most part. I don't... The Jerry Rice is obviously today. But normally what we've been doing have been one at the noon show and then one the night show, but apparently today's... All day. So, um, am I on that list or do I need to pay attention? Dusty, did you buy a spot today? You did. I see your name on here. You are in this. Dude, they are partying in that other space over there, dude. Really? Do you want to go over there? My goodness. Aiden, we have done the, the, uh, the Dak Prescott, yes. Too many spots last night because it did not win this thing. Here's the giveaway ball for today. 40 of 49. Stats. Commemorative ball. Really cool, isn't it? That is cool. Autographed. Jerry Rice. Did last night's purchase count? Uh, it's all the breaks purchased purchase for today. So, yeah, you should be in there. Bob. Bob, are you in? Bob in? And maybe all the... Bri you know what, Bob? It would have been... You would have been in last night's. Or you would have been yesterday's. 10% off. You get the 10% off, you're not in the Jerry Rice. Because that's two separate customer appreciation days. Does that make sense? Yeah, Bob, I do not see your name in here, so... I think there's another thing going on for tonight, too, Matt. Let me check the calendar really quick. Uh, it's... I think it's everyone who... <laughs> Who bought 
Let me check. Every Let me box check. that was broken, everyone who got who bought into one of those breaks got entered in. There's another uh There's another giveaway for tonight too. Is there? Yeah, let me check the calendar real quick. Uh, Friday, 8 p.m., Lovable Losers. All live break spot purchasers who lose throughout the Saturday, throughout Saturday, are entered into a top spot break during Saturday's 8 p.m. Okay. We can talk about that later. Yeah. It's for tomorrow, though. All right. Is it how many breaks you enter? It's how many breaks you enter, yes. It doesn't involve wins. Dusty, you are in. Dusty, you're in. In! Guys, let's uh, see if we can pick up some more steam here. Mackenzie, great question. All you have to do is purchase a break spot. Anybody that purchases a break spot is in for the Jerry Rice. All break spots purchased today. Yes, Aiden, we did do the we did do the Dak helmet. Anthony Luigi is jumping in on a break. Hey, what's your favorite Lady Gaga song? Um Probably Bad Romance. Very mainstream of you. Yeah, it is. So I put the put the people in there who haven't have the boxes haven't broken either, I put them in too. Uh, everybody that's, yeah, you want to. All right. Long list. Long list, Jerry Rice. Uh, football giveaway. You know what my favorite Lady Gaga song was, Matt? What? It's kind of... I guess it's technically a... What is it like where two people sing together? Duet. A duet, sure. That sort of lingo. I like the way you speak it over there. I picked Shallow with Bradley Cooper. Shallow. Absolute header. That's so a moving. One. A real tear... You saw the movie? Uh, yeah, a hundred times. Yeah. Yeah, a hundred times. Nice. So, when I first saw that movie, have you seen it? I have. Have you, have you, so when I first saw that movie, we're talking about A Star is Born featuring Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Tell you what. First time I saw that movie... That's the first time I've seen people walk out of a theater because they were emotionally going through it. Emotional? Yeah. Interesting. All right, Justin Diamond bought all of the spots in the Mega Jersey Mixer. Okay. Hell yeah, Justin. Justin also then gets 10 spots in the Jerry Rice then. You know what I mean? I do. I didn't make it. Man, I don't want to play a slot machine right now so bad. I'm throw it. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going through it. All right, it's ready for you. Thank you. What is it? Like a Jersey Mixer, too? Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. It's cheaper than paying the shipping to Canada for a personal. Talk about. There you go. Hey, let's think it with your head, Justin. I like it. All right, let's do it. Justin, you want to give me a box number? I hate that. It scares me. All right, let's see if we have 32. Should.
Like when the dog was outside the garage door at the end? Yeah. I heard people getting up crying and leave. Damn, that's a sad movie. Alright, here we go. It's moving. 32. It is saddening, dude. Let's go! Here we go. Best of luck. What's up, Mike Hagen? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you in the chat. Uh, the kitchen sink mixer is one item per box. One item per box. We have a different mixer right now that's called the deflate crate. It's got three items in, a, in an autograph photo, a football, and a jersey in that. But the kitchen sink mixer has one item per box. Here we go. Best of luck. Donnie's horrible on the water bottle flip. Bite your tongue. Sheesh. Sheesh. Justin, good luck, my man. Mike, you're good, buddy. Absolutely. Happy to help. How about this? Ooh. Not a hockey guy. This would be a winner for number one. Going to Justin Diamond in number one. Justin, congrats on the hit. It is Cole Beasley. Nice. Gare Bear guy. Yeah. Garrett would take a bullet for Cole Beasley. <laughs> in the chest. Nice. Cole Beasley autographed jersey. Slot receiver Bills Mafia. That's a nice pull, dude. Justin, congrats. Justin, what's your team of choice? If you're not a Bills guy, maybe you can trade that. Six three five six zero. Cole Beasley. I heard he played last year with like a torn MC or what torn knee, something like that. Justin, what's your favorite team, my man? In the shallow, it's catchy. And the way she sings it too. Right? We're far from the shallow. <laughs> Sounds right. like you're crying over there. Ooh. Danny Hunter. Let's do it, buddy. Good luck in the break. Thanks for the cookies in the order number. <laughs> That's good. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's get a box that we're going for the Luxury Lid. Luxury Lid's a full-size helmet break. Black box helmets. Looking at uh, Replica Helmet Series right there. Wait, 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 wait. He said that's wrong. I paid 2LUX. And then Luigi has three spots in there. Oh, you have three. Did Dusty get in there? Oh, guys, give us a minute. We'll get this list sorted. Take a look with you. He did. Dusty, your spot was a tip, actually. Dusty, your spot's going right to the tip jar and then right to the slot machine here tonight. Yes, sir. All right, you're good. Um, uh, Dusty, I said that your spot went directly to the tip jar. I was kidding. We're figuring out the list right now. Yeah, I gave Luigi too many spots, yeah. Damn, the San Diego Padres? 
are up 19 to 8. Take the over in that game. How do they score their run? Machado. Hosmer hit. Uh, nope. There you go. Thank you. Sorry about that. Tatis Myers hit a home run. Cronenworth tripled. Cronenworth homered. Cronenworth made it for the cycle tonight. All right, there we go. All right, guys, that is the correct list. Thank you very much for the fill. Let's rock and roll on that luxury lid. Gotta love that. Gotta fund the Rivers trip. Hell yeah, dude. The Rivers is a fun casino. You think what I'm thinking? What? <laughs> no. What? Do you have to be up early tomorrow? Mm-hmm. However, however, all right, we got Andrew Howell, Dustin Casey, NFC South. Luigi, you got the East and the West. Danny Hunter in the North. Mark Hoffman with two spots in the East, in the South and the East. And Micah Gregory in the AFC West. Not really early, but like at a res reasonable time, sure. You know? Yeah. So we have a luxury lids box number. We got 27, 29, 31, 36. 27, 29, 31, 36. Should we go, Matt? 27, 31, 27, 29, 31, 36. Let me get that on the thing. Yeah, there. All right, 31. We feel the rush, you know? Yeah. All right, 31 of 50. Best of luck, everybody. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock. And that's on. Let's rock. No. Let's roll. Let's rock. Bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. The best song of all time. What is it? Shake It by Metro Station. It's a good pull. This is a Notre Dame Fighting Irish legend. Once had his uh, leg terribly broken in the middle of a game by Lawrence Taylor. And the Notre Dame Fighting Irish Helmet, Joe Theismann. Joe Theismann's longest tenure being that it's a college item is the Washington football team. The Redskins when he played, now the football team. And they're going to pick a new name in 2022, Matt. You hear that? that what do you think it's going to be? Uh, the Capitals? <laughs> no. Hollywood Casino. 635. Matt Salas. Matt, you want to go to the... Hard Rock? It's, all, it's like in Indiana. It's like an hour and a half away. Hard Rock Casino? Yeah, Hard Rock. Indiana's got a lot of casinos. The Hammond one. They have the Horseshoe. Horseshoe. Hollywood Casino? Where? That's not, is that Aurora? That's Aurora, yeah. Aurora? Say the word. I'm there, baby. <laughs> Woo! You're not a betting man, are you? Put it on black! I'm, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'll meet you there. I would have eight minutes. Shorty, I can take you there. I'll make a slack about tomorrow, too, so John knows. Okay. And you know, obviously, too. Two in it for you. Holly oh, wouldn't Joe yet. That was an Aurora. Rivers is the best, dude. Rivers just gets expensive. All of them get expensive. If you're losing, fair. But you can yes, play, that was a rep. Go ahead. You can play the the blackjack tables for cheaper. Dude, at Rivers, Rivers it's like fifty bucks. It's like twenty five minimum bet. Man, there's a lot of names on this list. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna. What do you think? What are we thinking here? We will give it till. I think at nine twenty. Let me check the website really quick. 
Let me check the website, see if we're close on anything else for tonight. We're going to do a little cutoff time. All right, three spots left in the Diamond Helmet Series. Tony, see you, buddy. Thank you very much for the support and jumping in on some breaks. Three spots left in the Diamond Helmet Series. We can try to close it out with a Diamond Helmet for tonight. But I want to do, like, a cutoff time for the Jerry Rice spots, too. Okay. Uh, Luigi, your names are in there. Dude, they're just... No, you just can't see them on the screen. Yeah, to the right. Robert, you are right here. That list is just too big for the sheet. This is a jam for all the fellas trying to do what those ladies tell us. Get shot down because you're... Ugly. Overzealous. Ugly. <laughs> Ugly. That sucks. Jeremy Elkins. Yeah, you do. What is going on with the chat right now? Everyone wants to bust the move. What's going on with the chat right now? Jeremy, you have a ton of spots, actually. She's dressed in yellow. She says hello. Come sit next to me, you. Over zealous. Fine fellow. You really, you really let me down, Natty B. Yeah, it's all right. I'm okay with that. Are you mad? Is he mad? I'm good. Oof. Jason Spencer. You are in. Jason Spencer's in. What do you think? 925, last call for those spots. Sure. Does that work? That works. 925, guys. We'll give it five more minutes if anybody else wants to jump in on some breaks and be entered into the giveaway for the Jerry Rice ball. Five more minutes. We'll stop at 925. Dude. Great question in the comments. Speaking of rock, did you like School of Rock with Jack Black? Absolutely. I haven't seen that movie in so long, though. Dude, I would tell you in confidence that that is a top 10 movie of all time. That movie is awesome. He's a legend. He is awesome. He is awesome. Tenacious D. <laughs> Shallow Hell. Absolutely. The, all the Jumanjis now. Dude, I love Jack. Jack Black is awesome. Sheesh. They don't make him like him very much. Three spots to go. We got four minutes left on the football spot giveaway. Four minutes to go. We'll do the giveaway at 925. Anybody else that jumps in after that is not entered into the giveaway for the free Jerry Rice football. A lot of names in that Jerry Rice. It's good to see, though. It is. It's good to see people want to win free stuff the best price in the world. Mm-hmm. Does anyone want this Dutch? Dutch has been dropping. Dutch is at 50, uh, six, $70. Dutch is at 70 bucks right now. Get a guitar signed from him as a giveaway. That would be, I wouldn't get, it wouldn't be a giveaway. I'm sorry. Donnie's buying that. It would not be a giveaway. It would be given away to Donnie. Angels down 4-1. Didn't you, you have a guitar now, right? An acoustic that I play. Yeah. How oh, often yeah. do you play? Weekly. Weekly? Like once a week? Yeah. Weekly, I would say. Like maybe one week is three times, four times, five times. One week it's none. It so averages out to weekly. So you're like not into it as much as you were when you first got it? Oh, hell yeah. When I first got it, I was like, I'm going to the moon with this thing. <laughs> Dustin wants to fill that diamond tonight. Dustin, a couple more spots, buddy. A couple more spots. Giveaway ends in three minutes. We'll do it. Put the link in the chat one more time. Giveaway ends in three minutes. Come on. Dude, I wanted to go to the moon with my guitar. Yeah. Uh, 35 is not going to do it on the Dutch. Let's see what it's at. That's 70 bucks. Which actually is inching to its bottom dollar price. It's a Lunar Eclipse Mini. And those by themselves are like $40.
by themselves. They could be more than forty dollars, depending on the team. Mm. Ranging upwards of probably a hundred dollars. Unsigned. <laughs> Dude, imagine like what the Drew Brees value on a lunar is. Awesome mini. That is an awesome mini. Yeah. But balloons are just cool to look at. Yeah. Two minutes. Two minutes. If anybody wants to jump in on this giveaway, we're cutting it off in two minutes. I think we've uh, run out of steam, Maddie. I agree. I'm, I'm stopping the giveaway in two minutes. I concur, Doctor. Hey. None of that. What do you mean? I don't know if I like that. Cubs are up one. Night. You don't like being a doctor? Do you see that the Cubs traded Jock Peterson today for a bag of balls? Shh. Who's playing right today? Chris Bryant's playing right field today. Nice. Left field is Ian Happ. Center field, J.D. Marisnik. Nico Horner got called up today, second base. Nice. One minute remaining in the giveaway. One minute remaining. We're running it at 925 for the winner. 925, we're going to find a winner. Jerry Rice autographed a foosball. And you know his game is Kyle Gass. Rocking and moving. All right, nobody's taking that last. No one's taking that uh, last minute spot. It looks like. Nope. Bob was the last one to buy in. And again, guys, if we don't fill up anything else for tonight, it will carry over. But that's it. Nine twenty-five. It is. That's it. I'm doing the giveaway right now. Do it. Nine twenty-five. We're doing the giveaway. I'm gonna answer all these names in the randomizer. This is going to take a minute to randomize. Ready for this? Absolutely. You nervous? I'm nervous for you. Why? Because you have to answer all these names and Simple, baby. Did you like that I called you baby? Or... Only if I can call you doctor. That's fine. <laughs> you win some in life and you lose some. All right, here we go. I concur, doctor. Giveaway time. Giveaway time. Did I get all of Justin Diamond's spots? Yeah, we did, right? You got like 10. Yeah, he's up here. All right, cool. Whoops. All right, here we go. Here we go. That's everybody. That's everybody that bought a spot today. And we got seven times on the dice roll. We have 140 names. That's epic. That is epic. That is epic. Thank you. Four. Five, six, top spot. Here we go. Last spin. It is Stephen Thatch. Stephen Thatch. Hey, Stephen Thatch is a huge 49ers fan. Is he? Yes. Nice. Stephen Thatch. Seven times on the dice roll. Stephen Thatch is our guy in the top spot. Steve, big, big, big time congrats to you, my man. That is a... Huge, huge item for Stephen Thatch. He's going to be through the moon on that item. That's unbelievably cool. I'm it very is. happy for Stephen Thatch. Sheesh! Stevie, congrats, my man. That is really, really cool. Six, three, seven. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Jeremy Elkins, not a fan. Sorry, man. Not a fan of the freebie. Stevie Thatch, congrats, my buddy. My buddy. My boy. <laughs> congrats, my man. All right. Is that going to do it for tonight, Matt? Are we going to fill up this diamond? We'll give it a few more minutes. Give it a few more minutes if anybody else wants to jump in for tonight. Otherwise, it will carry over until tomorrow. Three spots remaining. With Joe Aguilar. Joe Aguilar and Matt Bohannon tomorrow. Yep. 
first uh, show with Joe on his new schedule, so. Yep. I think ah! He's excited, I think, so. Damn it! The Brady is here. Sheesh. Four tries. Hey, fun idea for future giveaway. You could make the winner uh, the player's number, like Tom Brady would be whoever wins number 12. Who had number 12? Oh. Who had number, what number is Jerry right? 80? Oh, I just, I just ruined it, you idiot. Dang it. I like that idea, though. That is a good idea, actually. It's a cool idea. I like mm -hmm. that. On my knees, but I'm begging, so I don't want to lose you. Which Brady? Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Small Anderson going down. 60 bucks. Lunar Eclipse Mini and the Jamal Anderson for the Dutch auction tonight. Fill that diamond. Let's fill that diamond. That was yesterday. You get it? Who's going to close? Someone needs to close it with three spots. Go for that closer magic. Give it a two more minutes, guys. Two more minutes before we sign it off for tonight if you guys want to do that diamond tonight. Luigi's shouting in the chat. Luigi is yeah, as yelling as much as you can in, in typing. Yes. London also shouting in the chat. London is screaming in the chat. I will close. All right, so we just have three people say they are two people. All right, so we had two people say they close, so we're already. So we got two London's in there. and Adam Hildebrand are in. So who's gonna take the last spot? Just collaborate as a team here and just go for it. Got two minutes. Two minutes. I know I said two minutes a minute ago. Looks like we got some collaboration here. Everyone's just afraid to pull the trigger at the moment. It's like a standoff. Who's going to make the first move? Put your loving hand out, darling. Who's got it? Who's got it? No one's blinking yet. No one is blinking yet. White Sox are getting crushed. That's fun. Told you. Dave Harris, first one to blame. Okay, there we go. We got Dave Harris. We need two more. I knew we could do it. Matt, are you gonna see the new Space Jam? Uh, probably not in theaters. Oh, you're gonna watch it bootleg. Yep. Doing that, huh? See if the. All right, two spots. We need Adam and we need London. Let's close it out. Let's get a box number two. I uh, I like the original Space Jam so much <laughs> that it's tough. All right, Jamal Anderson's at its bottom dollar price at fifty-five bucks. Bob, did you see it?
Got 1.5 stars. That's horrible. That's... All right, London, go for it. Do it. You don't want to see it? You're just against it? Did you see the original? Put your loving hand out, baby. All right. Yes. Dude, I'll tell you what. What? I love summer. Trust, trust me. What? My friend just posted on his Snapchat he's with Robert Tanya. Really? Yes. Where? Some wedding. That's interesting. That's awesome. All right, it's ready. Perfect. Ethan, we just filled up the diamond, man. And I think this is going to... Robert Tanya in the tight end for the Green Bay Packers. Woo! Filled it up. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can find a banger. What box number you want? No, that's, uh, the beer chugger is David Bakhtiari. Yes. Ethan, everything kind of wide open right now, my man. Everything kind of wide open. We are kind of had to push to get this last uh, diamond filled. We're going to get ready for tomorrow, however. Bo. Game time, baby. Game time, baby. Game time. Game time. TV 19. 12. 19, here we go. Wait, Harris said... Donnie Harris said 24. Oh. Dave Harris, you got it, dude. I apologize. I missed that comment. I missed that comment. You got it. Ethan, I'm... couldn't forget you, bro. Dave Harris, I apologize. Thanks for the reminder. Here you go, guys. See the nightcap. What's the nightcap? What do you think? Yeah, Roll fire here. Get ready for the weekend breaks. Oh, it's good. We have this. We got a Miami Dolphin. Oh, nice. Louisville. This is a nice little skill position player. Probably, I'll tell you what, guy with a ton, a ton of upside this upcoming season. A ton. And look what it was. One of those final two spots. That's Devontae Parker. Nice. Devontae Parker. Nice little option for Tua Tiger by Lua. And I'll tell you, nice hit, awesome offensive guy for the for the diamond, however. We can expect a ton more out of that series. This is a, a nice hit, honestly. This is a good one for any platinum series. Speed authentic. I think that's a fair assessment there, Bob. Yeah. Sorry, London. I see London. I see France. See Captain Underpants? Uh huh. Did I read that? I think I did, yeah. Devontae Parker. Speed Pro. Pretty cool hit. Going to Richard Adcook in the AFC East for the Miami Dolphins. And guys, that's going to bring our show to an end. What do you think, Matt? Sounds good to me. Sounds good? Should have gone with 19. <laughs> I think that's gonna do it, guys. That was that was a fun night. We had a lot of fun in here. We gave away a lot of stuff. We did. Gave away two authentic helmets, three Eclipse reps, a Jerry Rice football, 
all for fun stuff, guys. We have more breaks coming up tomorrow. I'm excited about tomorrow with uh, Joe. We got a new series releasing for our 2 p.m. break. Please come back and check it out and uh, continue to buy into those baseball breaks. And then we have a new customer appreciation week for tomorrow, the Lovable Losers. So go on the Ultimate Autographs website. Check out the calendar for everyone that can be entered into that, starting with breaks for tomorrow. Guys, thank you very much for all the support here in the UA Live break room. Matt? Good night. Yeah, it was yeah, fun. fun. We, had a lot of, we did a lot of stuff. And Definitely, my man. It was a good time. We'll so. see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Stay